When it comes to standing seam panels, a double lock or 180 degree seam connection is the most weather tight option. Installation of these panels will require renting a roof seaming tool like the four station roof seamer from DI Roof Seamers. In this video, we'll go over the basics of using a four station mechanical seamer on MS2 standing seam panels. Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. In this video, we'll cover when you should use a four station roof seamer, specifications and safety, preparing your panels for the four station roof seamer, and operation. DI Roofers four station roof seamer is perfect for jobs using MS2 standing seam panels. MS2 stands for mechanically seamed, two inch deep. These mechanically seamed panels are roll formed with specific edges that line up with each other. Once the two panels are engaged, the mechanical seamer is used to bend the edges and lock the panels together. When installed correctly, this type of panel offers a strong, durable, weather tight system. Specifications and safety. The Industrial Series 4 Station Roof Seamer from DI Roofers is a self-propelled machine that offers hands-free operation. Built with a 110 volt electric motor, it produces a 180 degree finished seam panel on 22 to 26 gauge panels. With a weight of 50.6 pounds, the machine travels 42.6 feet a minute. The rental kit comes complete with a four station seamer, a 90 degree crimper, and a 180 degree crimper, and a spare part toolkit to minimize downtime in case a roller becomes worn during the job. Basic maintenance suggestions are as follows. It is imperative that tooling is kept clean and free of debris. Never operate in inclement weather such as rain or snow. Each day that the seamer is to be used, ensure tooling bolts are tight before the beginning of any seaming. Preparing your panels for the four station seamer. Before beginning, Ensure that the panels are installed correctly and are free of all debris and contaminants such as sand and any sealant or mastic tape. Always attach a tether to the safety hook anytime the seamer is on the roof to prevent it from falling off. It is recommended to seam as you go. In other words, seam the roof panels as they are being installed. This helps ensure that each panel is kept within the module and installed correctly. Hand crimping at the beginning of each panel is required to start the seamer. First step is to use the 90 degree seamer. Starting at the end of the panel, crimp 12 to 16 inches. The next step is to go back to the end of the panel and crimp four inches with the 180 degree hand seamer. When finished, your crimp should be identical to this. Failure to follow these crimping procedures will potentially result in machine and or panel damage. Do not over crimp. This will damage the crimper. The 90 degree seamer is also used at all clip locations. Do not use the 180 degree seamer at clips. Never double lock ahead of the seamer. Place the machine on the hand crimp portion of the panel at the beginning of the seam. Then engage by pulling the handles into the locked position. The handles should lock into place fairly easily. If they do not, make sure the panel is properly crimped. The seamer should be engaged as shown here. Connect the power supply into the quick release plug near the handle of the machine and turn the machine on. The roof seamer may leave dark forming marks on light colored panels. This is acceptable as long as the paint finish is not damaged. Marks can be rubbed off by hand. Do not use solvents that will soften or remove paint. Do not run the seamer within six inches of the end of a panel without using extreme caution. Use your hand crimpers to finish any area that the seamer may not be able to complete. Want to learn more about standing seam panel installation? Help support our channel by hitting like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly.